Hey everyone, my name is Jada, aka Jada B, and I am a part of Building Beats, which is a nonprofit organization that aims to provide music education to all. We can be found on all social platforms as Building Beats and on our website, buildingbeats.org. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create a song structure on Soundtrap. Now, first off, I am going to drag my tracks that I created from BandLab. I structured my whole layout on BandLab, and I'm just going to put it here. So basically, I downloaded my stems off of BandLab. <clears throat> now it's in the process of loading all of the tracks. So I'm just going to ensure that everything is laid out properly. All right, everything is... <clears throat> how I had it laid out on band lab. So we are good to go. So first off, what is a song structure? What is a song arrangement? So I'm going to stress first, lay out the different song structures or quote unquote song arrangements. Your first song structure, you can have an intro, verse, chorus, verse, then you can go straight to your chorus, then go to your outro. That's one. Another is an intro, chorus, verse, chorus, then another verse, and then you can go to your chorus again in your outro. Or simply, again, an intro, a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, your bridge, go back to your chorus again in your outro. There are so many variety of song structures that you can go about with your song. So with my song structure today, <clears throat> it is an intro, chorus, verse, chorus, and then that's it, the outro. It's pretty short, but I'm going to show you guys by chopping things up and just doing some slight movements. I won't move too much since I already kind of structured the song, but I'm going to show you guys how you can slice things up so it's not all over the place here. All right, cool. So it's arranged properly. I have my vocals on top and I have my instrumentation on the bottom. Why I like to do that? It's so I can focus properly. I have my section for my ad-libs, not my ad-libs, excuse me, for my vocals. And I have my section for my instruments. Let's get into slicing. So I'm just gonna slice the dead areas. You see where there's no sound, no audio whatsoever, just straight up a dead line. We're going to chop those. I'm going to end it here for that top one. And also to make it easier, you can drag your cursor. Right, select, say select these tracks, select them. I'm holding shift, I have a, a Mac, so I hold shift. I believe on a PC there is shift as well. Um, then I'm going to right click, or you can do a command E as the shortcut says here. And I'm just gonna right click and then boom. I could have chopped it some more, but we're gonna go with that. And E, gone. Make sure you select the track you want to slice. Make sure it's the appropriate track, the right, tr the correct track. You'll know when you select the track, select it that track when it's darker. So I'm going to do a command E. All the way over here, because that's when this audio comes in. Boom. Gone. All right, so I'm cutting the dead air spaces because it's not needed. You want to be able to clearly see your song structure. So by eliminating the dead air spaces, it will help you to properly visualize what's going on in your track. Now, you also wanna make sure you hear certain things like listen to it because there may be some spaces where you have an effect on it, like a delay, and you wanna make sure you're not chopping that delay because that effect, that delay, that reverb, it adds a feel to your track. So what we're going to do is what I've been doing. 
I just deleted the whole thing. What I have been, what I'm doing is I would solo it, listen to it. Now I know, okay, in this area, this is where the effect stops. So I'm going to chop this effect here. Now, as you're slicing these, the tracks, say you created your track, your song somewhere else, like I did on BandLab, and I just moved it here to Soundtrack. What you can do is you can go to the very corner right here. You see this white dot, and you can drag it to fade, fade it out. And you can do that for the beginning, too, to fade it in. And when you're doing these fades, it comes in clean and it comes in smooth. So it's not just roughly coming into the next audio track. So if you try it out yourself with the fade in and fade out, trust me, you'll hear that difference. So I've just structured the song, I've arranged it. Now let's, let's see what we have. And soup de doo doo two hands to the front, let your shoulders get loose. Wiggle them around, let's show what I do, man. I can't front, I'm getting hot off this loop. And soup de doo doo two hands to the front, let your shoulders get loose. Wiggle them around, let's show what I do, man. I can't front, I'm getting hot off this loop. Yeah, yes I am, yes I am. I'm a niche to come through and pass me a fan. This beat so hot, it's high on demand, like. Got my shoulders moving left to right, left to right, right to left. Yeah, that's right. Build these beats, rock these streets. So ask, ask me who built this beat. I'd be like, you know that's me. What? Press doop doo 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 two hands to the front. Let your shoulders get loose. Wiggle them around. Let's show what I do, man. I can't front. I'm getting hot off this loop. And soup de doop doop, two hands to the front, let your shoulders get loose. Wiggle them around, let's show what I do, man. I can't front, I'm getting hot off this loop. Yeah. So I was looking for how to pan once I was over here. Where's the pan settings? So when you have multiple tracks stacked, you want one track to go on the side if it's not the lead. The other track that's doubled over it, you want it to go to the left and you want the other one to go to the right. So this is the one that I want to go to the left. This is my lead. Yeah, so this is gonna be my main. I'm gonna put my main in the middle. That's just gonna stay centered, not gonna be panned whatsoever. Um, how you pan, press this, press automation, you press pan, and then you would go and press the dot and up is right, down is left. I hope this video was informative to you. Thank you so much for watching. You stay creative. Bye.